The church of Santa Maria di Marteto was once part of an ancient monastic village dating as far back as the 11th century. While very little is known about this church, it is briefly mentioned in a papal bull from Pope Gregory IX in 1227, which presumes the existence of a Cistercian community residing here at that time. In 1432, the village was almost entirely destroyed in a regional conflict, at which time the monks relocated to the Abbey of San Benedetto di Portonorio. Subsequently, the village came into the hands of some wealthy benefactors, to include the Ricci family, who restored much of the village and made use of the church as a private oratory. By the year 1812, the church and adjacent monastery fell into disrepair, as these wealthy families gradually moved away. Today, it sits abandoned atop the slopes of Mount Conserva, not too far from where I live, actually. Interestingly, a perfectly cut square is now visible in the altar, suggesting that the monks took the relics with them when they relocated after the war. Although it has been abandoned for a long time, much of the complex remains intact to include the main structure of the church itself, as well as the adjacent monastic complex, which is presumably where the Cistercians lived and worked for several centuries prior to relocating. According to one source, the wooden roof of the monastery collapsed as recently as the 1980s, and the piles of debris I had to avoid while exploring the complex would seem to support that theory. Unlike most of the churches I explore, Santa Maria di Merteto is a place of peaceful seclusion. You have to climb this narrow, winding path in order to reach it, and when you finally do, you are struck not with the spectacular beauty of, say, a Florentine or Venetian cathedral, but with the unpretentious austerity of the community that once occupied this village. Like two sides of a coin, there are churches which express the faith in its richness, and, as in this case, in its simplicity. Most places I go, I'm surrounded by tourists. But in this place, I feel like I'm surrounded by ghosts. <laughs>